Everybody, in this video, we're gonna go over all the official trailers for the game uh, Stoker 2 Heart Chernobyl. This is the first one. It highlights some of the beautiful area and the atmosphere of the game. A good man is always on time for lunch. Who said I'm a good man? Richter, and the guys from the detention center. And me, Scar. So you've seen an anomaly, outside the zone. That's why I'm here. I've heard the rumors, but never firsthand. And I've got a funny feeling there's more trouble to come. <sighs> Jesus. This is the dark side of the zone. But there's another. The Shining Side. It's here all around us, but we cannot see it. I wonder what's out there. Eternal Spring? The Klondike of artifacts? A new home? Or our heart's desires? We want the Shining Zone to reveal itself. Yeah, that trailer, by the way, from uh, Gamescom uh, 2024. Oh, shit's gonna go down at the Institute. The next trailer highlights the world and its location. This is a 60 km square explorable area consisting of 20 regions to explore. Now, Stoker 2 aims for a high level of realism in its settings, the atmosphere, the gameplay mechanics. It draws kind of inspiration, based on what I understand, from, of course, the real-life Chernobyl exclusion zone, uh, recreating its environment with attention to detail. The game features also realistic weather conditions, radiation effects, and the constant, of course, threat of anomalies. Although the game, of course, uh, based itself on uh, realism, uh, you need to survive, you need to drink, you need to eat. Uh, some of the weapons you can see here are modern weapons. It does take uh, place in kind of a post-apocalyptic Chernobyl exclusion zone filled with dangerous anomalies and mutated creatures. So while it aims for realism, the game's unique atmosphere and gameplay mechanics create a distinctive kind of a sci-fi experience to a degree. There's also the dynamic weather system and the night cycle. The game is developed using Unreal Engine 5. It features like Lumen, dynamic global illumination, and Nanite, real-time rendering of massive environment to create a hyper-realistic worlds, um, to create again the hyper-realistic recreation of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. So just imagine exploring this amazing world with uh, intricate details from weathered buildings to lush vegetation, all best in uh, realistic lighting. The game features a life 2.0. This is the game's advanced AI system uh, that brings NPCs to life, making them more dynamic and unpredictable. And they will react to your actions from uh, alliances and engaging in conflicts with other factions.
The game also features merchants who play kind of a crucial role in the player's survival and progression. And from what I've read, these merchants offer essential goods and services such as weapons, armor, food, and information. They are often found in secure locations or hidden outposts, and they kind of provide you with uh, temporary rest from the dangers of the zone. Now here you can see for example different anomalies, uh, basically these are dangerous energy fields that can cause harm. There are various ways to detect anomalies from uh, detector devices and environmental cues and throwing objects. Here you can see the player collecting artifacts, these are basically objects found within anomalies in the zone. They offer powerful bonuses like increased health, radiation resistance or enhanced abilities but can also have negative side effects. In this trailer, uh, we can actually see uh, a soldier who is trying to escape from a group of bad guys called the Monolith. The soldier is confused and scared, but he is also determined to break free from the Monolith's control. It's really kind of dark and mysterious and it gives us a glimpse into the dangerous world of Stalker 2. You asked me about my good luck charm. Remember? It's an empty shop. Decided to play soldier with me? Dimitri and I were just discussing a certain puzzle we found in the zone. But we can't quite seem to get all the pieces to fit. Maybe you can figure it out. It reminded me that we used to be puppets. I took just one awkward step. And my whole world plunged into darkness. I'm sorry, Strider. <laughs> that was the day the sea fields were turned off. Suddenly, the voice of Monolith was gone. I felt as if I was awakening from a years-long coma. And through the scope, we saw the body of an unknown soldier fall. We had a simple choice. Sit back and just wait for another super emission. Or take a chance and get control of the anomalous energy. Only I didn't choose that path. Unlike you. The next trailer showcases the harsh and unforgiving nature of the zone. It highlights the dangerous anomalies, mutated creatures, and the constant threat of radiation. Skife, what do you do? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Hey, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm Чудо! Навіть самого себе! Як будеш у Прип'яті? Перше коло на колесі за мною. Now the next trailer is really cool, it kind of showcases the intense combat against dangerous creatures and rival factions while also highlighting the camaraderie among stalkers as they gather around the campfire to share stories and rest. Как спалить. Ну, чё там? Готово. <laughs> ну и пошли они нахрен. <laughs> Спасибо тебе. 
ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Ну, давай, малюй картину маслом! Поэтому я ни в какие разборки и не лезу. Не хочу пулю поймать. Ну не знаю. Между аномалией и маслиной я уже лучше пулю выберу. Вроде примелькалась уже, а каждый день удивляет. Зона надо есть не может. Говорят, ты знаешь, где вход в фундамент. Тише, тише. Устаешь, мотив. Слышал? Вот это культура! А ты одно и то же по кругу лобаешь! Сам же просишь. У меня музучилище, если что. О, месье, прошу прощения. Может, вам к ученым? Профессура! Они вам лабораторию найдут. Пошел ты. Зря ты так с друзьями. Ты же его на вылазки таскаешь. Чего-чего. А дружбы в зоне я точно не встречал. Это верно. Он мучился? Нет. Это хорошо. Он этого не заслужил. А пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь посмотри на нее. Нет, Скиф. Я не отдам ее никому. Сона дала мне жизнь. Новую жизнь. Жизнь, которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. Я буду защищать. Всегда. Охренеть. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Удачной охоты. Сталкер. I really like the next trailer because it kind of masterfully contrasts the serenity of quiet moments with the relentless danger of the zone. And again, these stark contrasts uh, create a captivating and immersive experience as players navigate the delicate balance between life and death. After years of work, 
a group of scientists managed to tap into the Noosphere, the Earth's informational field. An achievement comparable at best to the conquest of space. Don't want the innocent to suffer? Then help me find the culprit. And who the fuck are you? And what do we have a decade later? The zone in our image after our likeness. You cannot get rid of the sky up above. I am blind, but it is you who cannot see. The next thriller is from Microsoft Xbox and showcases a kind of a flyby to give you an understanding of what this world is, more or less. The next one is Enter the Zone trailer, uh, which introduces players to the harsh and unforgiving world of Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. It showcases the game's stunning visuals, intense combat, and the constant threat of anomalies and muted creatures. surrounding the zone is really enough? If a powerful emission were to occur, we would- Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced institution in human history without first guaranteeing its safety. As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl area, or CERCA for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. How big are these risks exactly? <laughs> the zone reveals a whole new world. We can stick with the old one, fearing change. But tell me, do you want our descendants to remember us as cowards? 
or as those who dared to venture forward to a new, better humanity. The next trailer is a Time of Opportunities, which kind of offers a deeper look into the game's vast open world and nine-liner storyline. It showcases the diverse environment from dense forests to abandoned cities and the various factions vying for control of the zone. Skife! Radi tebe bachite, druze! Valimo zvice! Ви тільки погляньте на це. Край, чарівний край, чермошай прута. Ти моя любов, ти рідна матінко моя. Жива. Координати закинув, поквапся. Який в них сенс? Зона така, якою бачиш її ти. Я ж показав тобі, якою я її бачу. Іди своїм шляхом, і тоді ти зможеш побачити зону. Alright, the next trailer is called Smoking Barrels. Uh, it uh, gives us an intense look at the game's combat mechanics. It showcases a variety of weapons, including assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, as well as the brutal and realistic gunplay. We also get a glimpse into uh, weapon customization that allows players to tailor their loadouts to their preferred playstyle. The zone was never a friendly place. Scenic and breathtaking, yes. But don't be fooled. Gunfire in the zone hasn't subsided for many years, which is why you won't find a person here without a weapon. And if you need one, you might come across dashes left by stalkers who decided to hide their guns and best gear for the future. Before heading out on your next adventure, check your gear. 
Repair it if needed. Otherwise, you may face, well, consequences. And don't forget, without ammo, your piece is useless. Be sure to know where you're heading so you can grab the ammo type you want, especially if you need something unique. There's a tool for every scenario. Depending on what kind of stalker you are and how you prefer to navigate the zone, you can upgrade your best friend with various attachments found along the way, installing them on the go to adapt to the exact fight at hand. If you want to stick with your firearm for a bit longer and customize it further, technicians will be happy to assist, but not for free. These guys can repair and upgrade your gear to suit your gunfight style, making it more specialized for specific circumstances, or vice versa, turning it into a versatile tool for any situation. Zone is a unique place, but the laws of physics and ballistics still apply. Each gun feels and fires differently, and its effectiveness depends on the distance and the type of armor you're up against. That's why, my friend, Preparation is key to survival. But don't forget, this place is full of surprises. The more you know the zone and expect the unexpected, the better your chances of living another day, exploring her mysteries and secrets, and reaching the goal you've set for yourself. <laughs>